This is what we're going to do. We turn this function into derivative form and then we find out its zeros. At first, we're going to put our function into memory, select actions and define. After we done with that, we are going to select solve command. Then we put the derivative inside. Remember to put variable x there, and now we can put our function in here. After we done with that, we go into form an equation where the derivative is equal. The zero. So now we have our zero points here. There is also another way to find out the zeros. I'm going to show that now. We're going to start from beginning. So after we have our function in memory, we can just directly derivate it. Here we have our derivative. Now we're going to factor it. So here we have our zeros again. We can turn this in the same form with input zero rule. So now we're done here. So thank you for watching and please subscribe for more.